live on the red carpet at Roy Thompson Hall. My name is Ravi Srinivasan, and I'm with the programming team here at the festival. Uh, and I'm Anthony Oliveira, uh, PhD and uh, Twitter idiot. Um, <laughs> we are uh, actually live uh, on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and we're taking questions. I've got a phone in here, so please message us, tweet us, whatever, and we'll read them out to the uh, talent. Uh, before we get started, we do want to quickly acknowledge the uh, traditional caretakers of this uh, land, the uh, Haudenosaunee, the Huron-Wendat, and the Mississaugas of the New Credit, and we're thankful to uh, live and work in this area. Uh, it is night three of the festival, um, and we're very excited to be here for the premiere of Hochelaga, Terre des Ames, uh, the latest film from uh, Canadian director Francois Girard. We're really excited to have this film. Um, You've been following this film since it was like a little baby, right? With that's the programming right, that's department. Right. Um, all the way to the red carpet. Right. We saw the film uh, around uh, late May uh, with the programmers of the film, Steve Gravesock and Magali Smart, and we were just blown away by the size and the magnitude of this story. Um, it really traces back as far as the 13th century, um, sort of the history of Montreal, and uh, looking at and examining uh, Jacques, Jacques Cartier's run-in with the uh, Iroquois uh, in 1230, 1235. And uh, it starts with uh, a collegiate football game, and a massive sinkhole happens in the middle of the play. And uh, we find a precious artifact that really you know, tells, we sort of flash back and it tells a story. It's jumping all over the place, right? Like right. it's like this prism story where it's like, it's in 1260 whatever, and then right. it's in 1525, right. and then the present day, that's right? That's right, that's right. And it's uh, it's very comparable to if you, uh, Francois Girard's, you know, seminal work, The Red Violin, which, uh, you know, was an Oscar winning film. It's uh, It has a similar sort of structure and style to it. And uh, I think everyone's gonna really enjoy it. We have a lot of the talent is here tonight, too. That's right. Um, we've got Francois Girard is here. Um, many of the stars. Oh, I believe someone's on their way right now. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Hello. Welcome, Welcome please. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. On the big days. <laughs> on the big days. How you, you guys are short. Oh, we hey. are. We're both tiny little dudes. And yeah. you made us look really <laughs> bad. Thank really you. Bad. <laughs> That's perfect. Hey, guys. You're looking really good. Good. Thank you, man. Uh, why, don't you, why don't you tell us uh, about your role in the film? Woo! This is kind of a lifelong journey right. to get into a role like this with Francois Girard. You know, it's a, it's one of those great experiences where you actually life and art come together. Right. And I think in this time, this 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 what they were in right now, playing a character of the prophet like this is just really important because. People People need to hear about indigenous knowledge right. and need to hear and be in to remember why we're here as human beings. Our bloodlines that brought us here and keep us moving forward and evolving. Right. It's, 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 it's a gift to, to do this role, it really is. And what is, what is your, tell us about your role in the film because it is a difficult film to get one's head around in it, general. <laughs> it is a difficult film because it's one of those films that's non-linear, it's very circular. But the prophet is the prophet, he's eternal. He lives throughout all time periods and he brings and reminds people of why we're here 
and the importance of remembering why we're here and where we come from. And I think because it was a historical picture, but to celebrate Montreal's history and all that, it's important because it just reminds us that we're all connected through bloodlines. Right. You know, we're all here as human <laughs> beings, not separate from one another. And I'm told uh, there was a screening in Montreal uh, just recently. I'm wondering, were you, were you at that screening? That I was at the screening in Montreal, and it was great, but we were playing to an audience that knows Montreal history quite well, and, uh, and the, the history with, with Mohawks and everything else. So I'm just curious to see how, you know, Toronto, an international audience, and especially an Anglophone audience, can uh, relate to the film, because I saw the film in French, subtitled only during the Indian parts. Here, oh. the whole film is subtitled. <laughs> right, right, the whole right. film is subtitled. <laughs> right. So it'll be curious to see how, how well it's received here, but wow. it really, truly is. Just, it's a piece of beautiful, beautiful poetic art. Wow, we were speaking with some of the fans who've been waiting here for hours. There's uh, a group of people here waiting from Colombia. You've been waiting for hours from <laughs> Colombia? <laughs> Couldn't right get into Colombia. Right down there, right down there. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna let you. Uh, we're gonna let you join the rest of the group over there. Great. Thank, thank you, Many congratulations. Thank, thank you. So thank much. you so yeah, much. Yeah, such a pleasure to meet you. Cheers. <laughs> Man, amazing guy. Yeah, that was spectacular. Uh, and get to give you a sense of like how much of a tapestry this film is. Like, to have a character, you need to, it has this framing device of the prophet. Right. Is right. That, and it's like. It's like a sweep, right? Which at the red violin had as well, but at least you had the focalization of the red violin. Now it's like focalized around Montreal as object, Montreal as like imbricated history. Yeah. And it's and it's really oh we have oh all right we have uh, Samyan here. <laughs> Let's bring him on in. Samyan, come on up. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Congratulations on the film. Thanks. Uh, Thank you so much. What was it? What was it like working on this project with Francois Girard? It was amazing adventure. It, it, it's 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 kind of poetry to work with him. It's uh, it's a good director, of course, and uh, just yeah, a great. Uh, I'm so blessing to work with him, <laughs> of course. And uh, I'm wondering, can you tell us uh, people at home who might you know haven't seen the film yet? Can you tell us about your role in the film? The role is a young archaeologue. Uh, it just found. Uh, we talk about 700 and 50 years of history about this search the the, 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 the village of Ostilaga in Montreal so uh, talk about the, the native people right. native history and um, the role of Baptist the archaeologue is a myth is Mohawk so he's just searching not only the, the the story about the native people but this own story so so yeah it's, it's a great adventure for him of course, thank you. And you are yourself a bit of a Winnie First Nation, is that correct? Yeah, of course. So, so, what, um, so what was it like telling a story that uh, goes back into Montreal's history in such a way, in a character that reflects so much on your own history? Or did you feel like the archaeologist yourself? Like, are you yourself bringing up <laughs> Montreal's history? But my stepfather is archaeologue. Oh, for, really? For real. Oh so it, when you are an actor, it's, it's amazing to, to, to just learn a, a new job. A real job, so maybe I, I can say it. But yes, if for me, I'm Algonquin from uh, from Picogan, but to play a Mohawk and but just to, to, to play a, um, about or history like that, it's just I'm so proud because we are the roots of the North American, and it's important for everybody to back to the roots sometimes. And these movies is is this kind of movies too. What are you hoping people get out of this film? Like, what are you hoping people leave the theater feeling? Ah, uh, just enjoy this 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 beautiful poem. It's <laughs> it's a beautiful it's it's kind of poetry. Yeah, work with François Girard and uh, Terry Riley on the music. It's a beautiful poem. So. You're yourself a, a musician. You're a rapper, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. What, was it hard to switch gears? Or is it do they inform each other? Uh, it's different. I just I'm just having fun. So, yeah. so, I, I make music. I make photography, and and, and, and I'm acting sometimes. And I'm just I'm just playing. So. And quickly, if uh, there's anyone at home that wants to check out your music, where where can they find it? Uh, on iTunes or or uh, just just write Samyan yeah. or on Google or, or something, and just find uh, we we have four record uh, and uh, we continue. We just uh, put out the the. the, the uh, record. Amazing. Well, we'll let you get back to uh, the team there. Go Thank you so much. your fans. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for talking Thanks. to us. Good festival. Enjoy the <laughs> screen.
All right, here we go. Hi there. What's going on? Why, Karan, how are you? Yeah, no, no, you're crazy. Very good. Yourselves? Oh, very good. Thank very you so great. much for joining us here. Thank you for speaking with us. Um, so what was it like working with Francois Girard on this film? It was fantastic. It was... Uh, the man is a, is a magician. He was a movie magician. And it was nice working with him. And, you know, he, he, uh, he had so much... Uh, he had confidence in me. And I, I never felt uneasy at any time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was really thrilled. It made my job easier. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And, uh, I have nothing but good things to say about I'm wondering if, uh, can you tell all the people at home a little bit about your character in the film? Uh, I play the role of uh, the Ganawaga. He was the chief of uh, Hashalaga at the time of the arrival of uh, Jacques Cartier. And so it was, um, it was a very role that I dreamt about. <laughs> when I first got into actor, I said I wanted to get into a film because I've done other films, but it was always in English or French. Right. And this one was in my own native tongue, Mohawk. Which you teach? Is that I that's teach? Correct? Yes. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've been. I spoke Mohawk until I was seven. Only Mohawk till I was seven. Then I learned English and learned French. So, was there anything that obviously you bring a great deal of knowledge to bear in the film? Was there anything you didn't know until you worked on the project? No. No, no, I did. I, uh, well, other than there were just a few little things that, uh, you know, uh, to say one knows everything. Is, right. is, is. <laughs> um, this film is such an important exploration of Indigenous roots in Montreal. And I'm wondering, um, what do you think the Indigenous community will, how do you think they'll feel about uh, if they see the film? Well, I think they'll really love it because we've, uh, we've, we've never had a, a film where there would only be one or two words. Or no, they have dialogue, yeah. long dialogues, and I think they're going to be so proud. You know? And it's going to unify uh, like the, the Quebecois and the English and all the people of Canada, actually. Well, thank you so much. We're going to let you get back thank to the you. team here. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on the film. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy the screening. Fun. All right, here we are. This is a rowdy bunch. Yeah, very rowdy. <laughs> Excited for Francois. <laughs> How are you doing? Thank you so much, Francois Girard, filmmaker, director of Hochelaga. Um, we're really pleased to have you here. Uh, I'm wondering, um, you know, the film screen in Montreal. Uh, how, how did it go? And uh, you know, it was. Uh, it's a big thing for Montrealers. We, we, it's a film that uh, looked back at 750 years of our history, which we think share is a shared history with Toronto and the rest of America. So we, uh, I mean, it was great, and it feels really great to be here tonight. How do you conceptualize a project this complicated? Like, your projects always have this huge scope, but like, what's it like drafting that? What's it like creating that? What's it like holding that in your head all at once? There's only one way to eat an elephant, it's one <laughs> bite at a time. So you just wake up early, and then you work the page. Yeah. And then you stop 10 times writing this page, and then you have to start research and ask questions, and, and then you write the next page. It's a long, it's a long haul. I'm a, I like marathons. Well, they seem to be getting more and more ambitious. Like the Red Violin, at least you had the centralizing object that allowed this story to open up. But now it's like all of Montreal history all at once. Yeah, like many cultures, many languages. Uh, you have languages. So it's, uh, you know, it's been a ride, but it's, it's so much fun because you, when you do that, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of learning. Yeah. So you learn, uh, it's a great opportunity to deepen the, um, the, the knowledge about your culture, about yourself, about where you live. So it's good. Uh, Francois, you're, you're a mainstay here at the, the festival. I'm wondering, can you talk about, you know, what are your feelings about coming to TIFF? Uh, Listen, the they, they, I, I've had uh, my last five films were uh, in galas in, in Toronto and uh, the last four in here at Roy Thompson Hall and um, I'm, I feel so grateful for the loyalty of the festival and the peers, uh, the, the, the level of support, it means a lot. You know, you know exactly what I'm talking about because, you know, we... Well, I mean, we're a wide bunch, as you They're say. Your name. But we're, we're like, I mean, it's it's incredible what this does to uh, the career of a movie, to my career, to the career of my actors. It's very important, right. and we're grateful. Francois, we're gonna let you uh, okay. get your fans enjoy. Thank the you screen. so much Thanks for talking to us. Congratulations! Yeah, <laughs> Can't wait to see it. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Oh, 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 so, oh, yeah, we have, uh, wow, we have the mayor of Montreal. Mayor of Montreal. Who's going to join us. 
Denis Coderre. Yeah, Denis Coderre. Um, this is going to be really exciting because, you know, this is uh, such an important film to Montreal. Well, so it's, it's a film, like, about, like, the existence of Montreal. Right, right. So I'm glad that the city itself is showing so much support. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hello. Let's have fun. All right, Denny, thank you so much <laughs> for hey, joining bro. us. Good? Yeah, going excellent now. Great. So, um, why are you joining us? What is it about this film that makes you feel I like you Because I love movies, be because I love this festival, but uh, you'll see a, an amazing movie. Ashlaga is about reconciliation, it's about righting a wrong, it's about, you know, we are celebrating our, uh, our 375th anniversary right now, yeah, yeah. but there was people before us, right. and we have to think about that, and uh, what's going on in Canada, in Quebec, and all over the place, you know, try to bring people together in those troubled times, it's important to understand where we're coming from. Francois Girard is a genius, mm -hmm. remember the red violin, the silk, and all that, and uh, I feel very privileged and uh, honored to be, to be with him, and... Uh, I tried the red carpet. I, I kind of like that. <laughs> it's nice, huh? It's not bad. I kind of right? like that. <laughs> yeah. You get used to this. Um, uh, the city's putting a lot of like uh, leverage behind this film, too. Yes, you guys had yes. a free screening of the film? Well, it, it is important because, you know, with the celebration that we're having, uh, frankly, uh, just between us, I, I really believe it will be <laughs> part of the shortlist for the Oscar for the foreign movies this year. I think truly, really, when you, when you looked at it, it's it, you're living it. it. It's like you are being there during different uh, the time, and uh, it, it, it's part of our DNA. It's all where we're coming from. So, so, you know, when we have that kind of celebration, it's important also to remember who we are, where we're coming from, and what kind of society we want to want to be. Huh. How do you feel? That, that's it. Thank you so much, Good. Denis, for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you here. I want to pay tribute to Pierce too. I yeah, mean, of after course. 25 yeah. years, I mean, he's an amazing person. Je veux le I'll say a few words in French. Alors, je veux, je veux remercier les gens de Toronto. John Torrey est un bon ami à moi. Et puis, don't worry, John, I'm not here for an style takeover. <laughs> I'm here because I just love movie. I'll, I'll try the popcorn and I'll come back to you. All right? We'll make sure Pierce uh, gets that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Enjoy the film. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, well, now we have uh, another cast member coming up, Vincent. Is Vincent? Perez? Yeah. Let's bring him up. Hi there. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, so you play Jacques Cartier, is yeah, that correct? Yeah, Jacques, Jacques Cartier, yeah. What, what is that like? What was it like getting inside the head of someone so famous and <laughs> so controversial? Yeah, I know. Well, it was quite a challenge, yeah. you know? <laughs> because suddenly you have like to uh, incarnate, you know, like uh, an, an iconic figure mm -hmm. who has like, you know, a dark side and, and another dark side, I guess, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Um, no, it was uh, was an interesting, uh, very interesting uh, moment. Uh, I have to say, for me uh, as an actor, to uh, portray that that character, you know. So I I, try, I tried to uh, just put, to put myself in his shoes, you know, just mm -hmm. like uh, you know, discovering a new world, right. natives, and you know, like trying to uh, right. connect with them, you know. Did you find that the arrival? You know, the movie. Yeah, uh, yes, 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 the same thing, exactly. you know. Uh, we were talking uh, about how the film just screened in Montreal, and I'm wondering, you know, how do you how do you think this film this film will mean to Montrealers and and even people outside Montreal? Well, in Montreal, like two days ago, it was really something quite quite uh, uh, impressive, I have to say. I mean, there was like a total communion. There is something among all the people, like the thousand mm. five hundred people there, and also the people, uh, you know, introducing the film. That it was really part the movie was part of the history of montreal mm -hmm. because it was really telling about something that was like uh let's say uh in the soil of, uh, of montreal and in the history of Mont montreal Literally. so yeah. the movie is really part of that now yeah and we felt it you know and everybody was like realizing that and then you know the, the movie was uh, you know after the screening of the movie that standing ovation was like suddenly saying telling us well thank you you did it I mean, Francois did it, you know. Tell us about working with Francois Girard. Francois is, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's a wonderful, visionary uh, director, you know. Th this is exactly the, the, the kind of director that I love to work with, you know, because he has a very strong vision. He just, to, 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 uh, you know, just, just, just step on board and, and follow him. So, uh, he's a very generous man. He, 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 uh, he's a very powerful I think director and I and I adore him. He's a wonderful, wonderful man. And uh, you know, coming to Toronto and TIFF, we had people waiting here for for hours. Uh, <laughs> some from in the in cold, the cold. some from Colombia. Not what does the festival mean to you? And you know, how does, how does it feel to to be here at Toronto? You know what? I think I came here like 
ages ago. Right. Like a very long time ago. So I'm more used to can. Yeah. Uh, different kind of weather. <laughs> uh, and uh, so I'm discovering the whole thing, in fact. Yeah. That is the truth, you know. And uh, so far, so good, you know. It's great. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Vincent, yeah. for joining yeah. us. We'll let thank you catch you. up with everybody. Thank I think you. we thank have you too long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have a great screening. Yeah, I was like, well, I guess well, that's it. That's it. Us. Everyone's in the house about to screen the film. And uh, thanks for joining thank us. Thank you, everybody. Uh, see you next time. <laughs> yeah. Tune in next time. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.